America, John Butch is still waiting almost five years later to really lay her to rest. You can see the pain of his story on his face. A father who outlived his daughter. I'm fairly stoic about these things, but it's painful. 26-year-old Alexandria died in 2014. And while John Butch thought the family was honoring her wishes, donating her remains only led to more heartbreak. The organization they chose, the Biological Resource Center of Illinois, raided by the FBI months later. We had gotten some of uh, Alexandra's ashes returned to us. We have no way of knowing whether or not these are ashes. Well, in fact, we're pretty convinced they're not because... Why do you say that? Because she's in a freezer in Detroit. Investigators confirmed most of her body is among what was removed from the Biological Resource Center during a raid, brought to a federal holding place in Detroit where the case is being investigated. Well, if they had cremated her, there would be no parts to take to Detroit. Those ashes you know, couldn't be hers. Today, almost five years after the investigation started, Donald A. Green and his son are federally charged, but their case still open and families like this one still waiting. John told us he knows his family is in alone, so he created a group today so they can work together to make sure no one else goes through this. And I would like to think that others that have been affected, that there's a community of us that can sit down with our, you know, our, our senators and our representatives and say, look, we've got to control this industry or we've got to forbid it. Now, the Secretary of State, Jesse White, responding to our reporting this story in a statement tonight, quote, the federal allegations against the Greens speak to the conduct that violates all laws of human decency. It's a travesty that the actions alleged in the indictment work against the best efforts made to register organ donors. Now, we will follow up with his office. Plea dates have been set for the Greens this coming June in Detroit. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, I'm Tara Molina, CBS2 News.